birds. Kalpana lives in a high-rise apartment. The view from the balcony is beautiful. One day, as she was sitting in the balcony enjoying her big book of birds, she found herself in the company of two pigeons. They were sitting on the ledge of the window, for they had built their nest there. These commonly found birds build nests on ledges of windows and parapets of buildings. They even make nests among the thorns of cactus and hedges. Their nests are not very neat. Kalpana's attention was distracted by a black bird that was perched on the railing of the balcony. It was the common crow. She found its nest right on top of the nearest tree among the branches. The crow builds its nest with all kinds of things, twigs, pieces of wood and wire. Crows live in large, noisy groups for many years. As she observed the crow's nest, Kalpana was drawn to a melodious sound. <coughs> ah, I know this familiar bird call. It's the cuckoo, she said aloud. She remembered reading about the cuckoo in her book of birds. The quail or the cuckoo does not make its own nest. It lays its eggs in a crow's nest. The crow hatches the eggs and takes care of the quail's chicks along with its own. How interesting! Each bird builds its nest in different surroundings. Maybe I can find nests of different birds if I look closely through a pair of binoculars, thought Kalpana. What's that movement in the bush below? Is that a sparrow? Yes, it has its nest in the bush. Sparrows build nests in low bushes and cozy corners of houses, on top of cupboards, behind pipes and on fans. They use twigs, hay, wool and even paper to build their nests. The mother sparrow lays eggs and helps them hatch. The father sparrow brings food for the family. Together, the parent sparrows look after and feed the little ones until they learn to fly and search for their own food. Ah, here comes an Indian robin. Is that its nest between the stones? Kalpana wondered. The Indian robin's nest is made of soft twigs, wool and cotton. Their nests are found on the ground between stones and on tree stumps. As Kalpana looked around, she was excited to see a barbet peeping from a hole in the tree. She remembered from the book that a barbet's nest is simply a hole made in the dead and decaying softwood tree. It lays its eggs on the bare wood in such chambers. Close to the barbet's nest, Kalpana found an empty bird's cup-shaped nest. She was amazed to see how well the bird had built the nest. It had combined twigs, leaves and wires to make the hard outer shell. Soft cotton, feathers and fluff lined the inside of the nest to make it soft and warm. Kalpana looked further away from the buildings and her eyes caught a duck swimming on the glittering waters. How can I forget the duck? Where does it build its nest? She wondered. Most ducks have their nests near water. They build them in hollow pits among grass, between gaps in rocks and in tree holes. Kalpana was amazed by what she had seen. 